The first part of the question is simple. The moon has a circumference of 6,783.5 miles, about 27% of the Earth. Imagine walking from Boston to Peshawar, Pakistan. If you walk the same distance, you will circle the moon's equator. There is another idea. If the Earth is a softball, then the moon is a shooting marble. In this analogy, the circumference of the sun is represented by the world's largest tree, the General Sherman Sequoia. But what about the bigger moon? This part of your question went from a simple Google search to talking on the phone with a planetary scientist, making a thought-provoking voice or waving his hand, trying to explain logical guesses about gravity physics with gestures thanks Hagen. The scientist, Matthew Sigler, is an assistant professor of research at Southern Methodist University and associate researcher at the Institute for Planetary Science. Our gravitational pull affects the moon. The gravitational pull of the moon affects us. We are connected to each other by the attraction and attraction of invisible hands. And it has had a huge impact on our planet. For example, the tilt of the Earth changes, but not so much. The Earth fluctuates in a 41,000-year cycle between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees. In contrast, Mars is coming and going like a galactic weaver. Mars is changing between 10 and 50 degrees, on a very short time scale of hundreds of thousands to millions of years, he said. The difference may be due to the Moon. There are two moons on Mars, but they are very small. The largest Phobos is a rectangular block of rock that is only about 16 miles long. It's a walking distance if you have one day. As a result, there is not much gravitational influence on Mars. Our Moon, by contrast, is large enough. If gravity were to be seen, the Earth would be seen as a mass with a ring around it. This hug pulls the Earth with gravity, making it difficult to change the tilt of the Earth. The planet's climate is extremely stable because it is difficult to change the tilt of the Earth, that is, the angle at which the heat from the Sun hits. It is precisely because the Earth's climate is extremely stable that we are. So without the Moon, we might end up like unstable Mars. But even if the Moon gets bigger, it won't have much effect on Earth's stability, Sigler says. The tilt of the Earth will be less changeable, and the climate will be more stable. However, there are other possibilities that the Moon will change significantly as it grows. Scientists believe that the Moon began to form about 4.5 billion years ago when another planet hit the Earth. Originally, the Moon was like fragments of that collision, like broken glass left on the streets after a contact accident. But the Earth is large enough, so its gravity pulled some of the debris into orbit. While the debris was still hot, it was all crushed by the force of gravity to form the Moon. Since then, the Moon has been circling around us and moving away from us at a rate of about 1 inch in 1.5 years. Sigler told me that billions of years ago, when something like this was happening, the speed of the Earth's rotation was probably so fast that one day was only 4 hours. The gravitational interaction between the Earth and the Moon gave us 24 hours of one day. Imagine trying to walk forward through a crowded shopping mall while holding the hands of a toddler who is quickly distracted. You can get to your destination, but it won't speed up, no offense, Hagen. And distracting adults will slow down even more. The Earth's rotation is still slowing, Sigler said. Billions of years from now, the Earth will be one day to 30 hours. So if the Moon gets bigger, the Earth's rotation will be slower and one day longer. And if you look at other planets in the solar system, you can see what the big Moon looks like. For example, Pluto, everyone's favorite dwarf planet, has at least five moons, one of which, Charon, is almost half the size of Pluto, much larger than the relative size of the Moon relative to Earth. If the Earth is softball and the Moon is marbles, the relative size of Pluto and Charon is close to softball and racquetball. Pluto and Charon are tidal locked to each other. Pluto is not rotating independently of Charon, but as a figure skater holding hands, it rotates as one fray. Well, the Moon is tidal rock with us. We can only see one side of the Moon. It is therefore called the reverse side of the Moon. The backside here is a figurative expression referring to the side that we can never see. But we are not tidal rock with the Moon. That's because the Earth is so big. If the Moon is big enough, it may be able to trap us like a Charon. In order to see the Moon, we might have to take a vacation to the other side of the Earth, Sekla says. More than that, 
The time changes when the moon and tidal are locked. Our day and month will be the same. The other side of the Earth does not exist, Sigler said. The whole Earth is exposed to sunlight. However, the duration of sunlight varies greatly depending on the size of the moon and the length of the lunar day. And that could have real consequences. Without the sun for 15 days, it may not be good for life, says Sigler. Of course, life, on the other hand, finds its way. It's going well in the Arctic. In the Arctic, they can live in the dark for six months. But life just below the equator is similar to life in the Arctic.